Hey guys, welcome back. Um, okay, yeah, so we're picking up on the cliffhanger. I guess we'll just start. I have to get the glass. Shoot the glass. Wait, how do I get it? It took me a while to figure that out the first time because I thought I was still in the cutscene. <laughs> he was just like strangling her for 20 minutes. <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him. station on that map? I don't fucking know. Come on. Fuck, Ellie. Okay, I can already feel myself liking the game more the second time I play it through. I, I could I could feel like, hey, I'm gonna like it more. I, I can already feel it. That's a good feeling because the first time, I was just the stupid The Last Jedi thing. Like, I still didn't like it the second time I saw it. At any point, I, I wasn't feeling good about it, so. That's good. Oh, we got him. There aren't a lot of moments like this throughout the game where it's just a, um, they force you to fight. Usually, most of the time, you can you can choose whether you want to be sneaky or not. And I try to be sneaky to save ammo and stuff. Can I kill this person? Okay. <laughs> Um, I was going to talk about my haircut, because <laughs> I cut my hair. There's a stupid note I was thinking about, like, I think actually doing this, oh, should I get him? Before they flank, before they flank. Ow. Okay. Um, I think doing this has actually made me a little bit better at cutting my, I mean, I'm still terrible at cutting my hair. Oop, get him. Winged him. Oh, this is actually... Ah, how you get me? I'm gonna get you. This is the first time we fight humans. So this is a big deal. Um, a lot of cool stuff when you fight actual human people. Get him. Okay, the first thing you <laughs> the first thing you will notice is that they, if you don't kill them right away, they will just start screaming. <laughs> um, so this guy, ooh, look, okay, shot his arm off. This is something I don't know if I've ever seen this before. Maybe that you could do it in other games, but. Um, I had actually mentioned this when I was streaming Uncharted, and Super Mario will back me up on this because she was the only one watching, <laughs> but I said, uh, it would be cool if you just shot someone in the leg and it's just, they were like limping or something, or you, you shot them in the foot and they couldn't, they couldn't move their foot, or you shot them in the arm and then they couldn't move that arm or their arm came off or something, um, and I said, that seems like something they would do in The Last of Us 2. So, there you go. I don't know. I, I, am I bragging? No. <laughs> sound like I'm bragging. Stupid. It's the worst brag ever. Um... I remember the first time playing, like, and actually fighting humans, you really feel, it feels real. The more you do it, 
the more you get desensitized to it, I guess, and it's just like, oh, it just feels like a video game, and you're shooting people, whatever. The first time I went through this, I was, like, really tense, and so there's people coming, and I shot this guy, and he started screaming, like, oh, my arm, he got my arm, oh, my God. <laughs> um, that's the point. I mean, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it feel real. Everything they do is to try to make it feel real. And anything that takes you out of that realism, I think, is bad. So, I will talk about that, too. I guess I could talk about it now. Something that, you, that I started to do a lot as I started playing the game more is... You get to an, an area with enemies. I thought drinking the coffee would help my throat bubbles, but it's not. Because I usually drink soda, but... Um, you get to an area with enemies, so what do you do? You, you try to figure out the best way to go, but then sometimes you die, or you don't go the right way. So you do something like this, like I'm gonna, I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, ready? I do something like this. I grab this person and then, 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 oops, I thought this guy was gonna see me. And then, okay, would you just sh see me? <laughs> I can't even. Oh, she just like grabbed. Okay, so something like that happens. So what do you do? You restart. And you try to figure out a better way to get through. You do that a lot. You restart a lot. Because they give you checkpoints. They give you a lot of checkpoints. Once you kill like two people, they give you another checkpoint. So if you kill two people and you don't use any ammo, and then you kill another person, and then you have to start using ammo, you're like... Well, I'll just restart and not use ammo next time because I don't want to waste my ammo. Because there might be a boss in a couple minutes and I need the shotgun ammo or whatever. I'm not going to say that that's a bad game design, but it does feel like it is. <laughs> if Because it takes you out of this realism. I don't know the solution. And maybe it's the best you can do in a video game. I think a solution would be don't put too many checkpoints. Don't put so many checkpoints. Once you get to an area, you have to get through the whole thing before you get a checkpoint. And I'm sure they tried that and they didn't like it for some reason. I don't know. Can I make uh, silencers? No. Nope. Those are very helpful. I got the other guy then. So did I get a checkpoint? I bet I did. Oh, no. So I want to try to kill these people without wasting ammo, because I'm low on my pistol ammo. I don't know. I'd like to hear what Neil Druckmann has to say about that. Why do they decide to put so many checkpoints? Or The game is so obviously designed around realism, and having to restart checkpoints, it takes you out of that. Oh, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. <laughs> I'm right, because, I mean, if this was real, you wouldn't just be able to restart your life every... Oh. oh, that was something I wanted to mention. That guy had a scar on his face that will come back. It's not big, It's not a big spoiler, but... Um, I didn't notice that the first time, but he does have a scar on his face. You just think, oh, it's just a scar. But I think it's a thing that we will talk about later. <laughs> Yikes, right in the neck. Um, I was going to maybe talk about Hamilton today because I watched it this week. I liked it. I like that they're, hopefully they'll start streaming more 
musicals and plays and things because there's no way to other way to watch them. I mean, they're so expensive to go to and it is a better experience to see it in the theater. So like it is worth it to pay extra. It feels Broadway's been like well, we don't want to stream it because then people won't come. But that's what movies theater said too like we don't like tv because then why would anybody come to the movie theater people still go to the movie because it's cool i don't know you see it on the big screen with people around you i like going to the movies maybe i don't do it as much but it's still a big industry and and, and you're still getting money from the tv that's the thing it's like you'll still get money from streaming you can charge them a ton of money you could say, like, I mean, everybody loves Hamilton, so pay us a billion dollars for the rights. And Disney would do that, because they got, they got money to throw at people. So I hope they do it more. I'm just shoot this guy, maybe. Or, oh, I know what to do. Oh, yikes. There's another guy left. It is nice how they give people names. <laughs> it's Greg. They got Greg. Oh my god, Greg, are you okay? I can't believe they got Greg. He was the best man at my wedding. I'm so sad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, so I, uh, um, I want to mention I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna play this game all the way through, and there's gonna be no breaks. Like I'm not gonna play Zelda or anything. It's just gonna be. I figured it out, and I think there's gonna be about seventy episodes of this, which is about ten weeks. So this is the third week, and there will be seven more weeks of this. <laughs> So I hope you like that, because that's what's happening. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think anybody... Whatever. Um, Hamilton. What, what time is it? Am I, I'm almost done. Okay, let's talk about Hamilton for five minutes. The music is all really, really catchy. Catchier than I thought it would be. I thought it would be... Just like a lot of spoken word stuff and rapping, but uh, music is catchy. Um, it's almost a little bit too... There are parts of songs where they're trying a little bit hard, too hard to be like a, an actual song. Like in My Shot, there's a part where they just start saying like whoa 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 like why, why what is that <laughs> i don't know i don't like that why, why is that in the song i don't i don't know just that's a bit of a nitpick though because that's what most musicals do right i don't know oh this is a cool part of i like this area they um Okay, no spoilies, but... You can crawl under these little guys. And they start looking for you. I definitely play the game a lot differently now that I've played the whole game through. Than I, the first time I got to this area, I was really cautious. and I, I, was, I was scared. Oh, they're going to find me. But now I'm just like, yeah, to shoot these people. Who cares? And they give people names. <clears throat> Jeff, go over there and look under. He's going to look under. Is he? One thing I noticed when I was listening to Hamilton was I didn't I don't really like 
I don't really like Lynn manuel Miranda's voice. I don't know if that's <laughs> a common thing, but I don't like his voice. <clears throat> it's very throaty. I don't know how to, I mean, I'm not a musician. I don't know how to explain it, but I did. Uh, he sounds like how I would how I would sound if I tried to sing. <laughs> Maybe that's like the appeal. Ooh. Shoot his feet. Uh oh. Well, you could have just shot me. Huh? Shoot him. Shoot him. Oof. Think that's all of them? Let's not find out. What else was going to say about Hamilton? Um, I liked it a lot. I did like it a lot. Well, obviously, I, I hope that they do. I hope that they do Dear Evan Hansen. I hope you can watch that because I would like to see. The only time I've ever seen it is just a crappy camcorder video. <laughs> I don't know if I'll do that. Um, uh, my favorite part was like the, well, I had heard some of the songs before I'd seen them, seen it. I like the songs, but it was nice to, to hear the other songs that I hadn't seen. <laughs> um, I really liked, they do, they do two scenes of debates where they have Alexander Hamilton and I think uh, Thomas Jefferson and they're debating what are they debating and it's like a rap debate <laughs> I thought that was really cool I like that a lot um, oh, what were they debating again I forget shoot I wish I remembered because I really liked it and then maybe uh, Hamilton debated Burr or something. I like debates. I like good debates. The, I don't know. The debates you see... Well, the debates in movies and TVs and stuff are good because people have time to write them out and they're good writers. So, But actual debates are kind of boring and terrible. Because you have to prepare a lot, and then you're just like, ugh, you have this answer that sounds like sterile and dumb, and and the presidential debates I talked about that before they're terrible because they give each person like a minute to talk, so they just barf out these platitudes like, well, I the answer to your question is because America is great and we need to be great. Okay, S Senator, your time's up now. A rebuttal five second rebuttal <laughs> it's so dumb there's no point to those stupid debates you don't learn anything Fuck. Oops. okay was that 20 minutes yeah okay i am not throwing away my shit i like the uh everybody likes it but the king george uh songs they're a nice, they're a nice like break from the raps, and then they're, they're um, they're meant to be. They're meant to be different from the other songs. Because it's King George singing it. He's like, "You'll be back." I like that. I like Hamilton. Woo. That's a hot take, right? But, oh, the last thing I'll say is that it's not really a criticism, but I do wish for Hamilton that they explored the characters a little bit more. I mean, I know it's hard because the whole thing is sung, so it's not like a play where you can really get into the characters. And they do as good a job, I think, as you can do in a musical where everything has to rhyme. I mean, I know, like, Shakespeare rhymed, but, and he did a good job, but it's hard. <laughs> um... I 
I wish they got a little bit into Hamilton and Burr's character and like their rivalry almost and their different perspectives. They get into it a little bit, but I like the idea that Burr is this two-faced, like uh, double-dealing kind of person and Hamilton is more convicted and um, sometimes that gets him in trouble and Burr is kind of a mentor to Hamilton, but he's also like a rival to him because Burr has no allegiance to either side. So sometimes he'll be he'll be on Hamilton's side and sometimes he'll switch, like he switches to the Democratic Republican side just because it was an opportunity and he wanted the power. And then Hamilton's like, you... You, you scoundrel. But but in the end, Burr kills Hamilton. Spoilers. And you don't really feel... It's not as tragic as it could be. Like, oh, they were friends and they were rivals. And it could have been better, I think. I don't know. <laughs> There's something they say... I've listened to this podcast, Harmontown. That's over now. But one of the people always says... Whenever they... Whenever they complain about a movie or a TV show, one of the people will say, well, they should have done it that way because then they would be famous, right? <laughs> if they would have changed it, then they'd be famous. It's like you're criticizing Hamilton, the most popular musical in the world. If they would have changed it, it would have been worse for sure. But eh, that's just personal perspective, I guess. Okay, see you tomorrow.